What is up, whammin and gentle whammin? Coming at you today with my updated Orcus deck profile from Yu-Gi-Oh! Day. And if you can't tell by the backdrop, we won this weekend, got first place, won the mat. Um, yeah, there's nothing really else to say. Uh, the deck still hasn't changed much. I've got a lot of stuff on order coming for the deck. But other than that, the deck really hasn't changed much from the last video. Because we still got the three starter cards. You got your two Math Man, one Scrapper Cycler. This is going to be another Math Man. I do have another Math Man ordered. And it'll be here by the time I'm able to play again. Um, this is the last event I'll be able to go to for a while. But, well, for about a week. So, we wanted to get it in and make sure we won this mat. So, we played Orcus as always. But, you got the two Math Man, one Scrapper Cycler. This is definitely going to become another Math Man. Uh, one Greffer, one Armonite. Standard to help you play that around there can only be one. Still playing three Nightmare, three Harp, two Symbol, one Brass. We were able to get our hands on two more Brass. Um, I'm probably going to bump it to two. But, yeah. The one was good. Um, I definitely would have liked to have a second one, though. So that's most of our Orcus package. Wow, this mat is not very friendly. Uh, one World Wand and then one Gizmec. It's all for the Orcus cards. Hand Traps, three Ash, three Thanos. Basic, your standard stuff. Um, these are subpar at Locals, just because my Locals doesn't run a lot of Link decks. Um, a lot of control is at my Locals. So... Um, they never really played a big impact in anything this weekend, but I, it was nice knowing I had them. Um, on the spells, three Call by the Grave, two Instant Fusion. Um, I see a lot of Orcus players are cutting this. I still really like the turn one window board. Um, I am definitely going to consider cutting it, though. It frees up two extra deck slots, which is the tightest part of my build right now, so I'm definitely going to test once I get back from vacation. Uh, cutting this and freeing up the two extra deck slots. I'm not sure what I put in its place yet in the main deck, but I'm definitely considering cutting these. Uh, two Twin Twister. Everybody's running Cosmics, which makes sense because if you're expecting to play a lot of Orcus, it's a good idea to play Cosmics over Twin. But I know I'm not. I'm the only Orcus player at my locals, so Twin Twisters are just better because there's a lot of Guru, there's a lot of Draco, and stuff like that at my locals. A lot of Rogue decks. Um, We've got the two allure and one return. I've got two more allure, uh, returns coming, so these are going to become return. But uh, I never actually used. I used allure once, and every time I drew allure, it'd have been better as return. So there's that. Um, except for one occasion where I used the one occasion I did use the allure, I ended up banishing Phantasme off of it because Phantasme was the only monster in hand. Uh, one of us, you got the Babel. One upstart, foolish and Rhoda. It basic standard lineup. Uh, these two are starter cards. Uh, this makes it thirty nine cards, and then Babel is the best card in the deck. Um, yeah, this Babel is the best card in the deck, in my opinion. It's what makes Orcus really good. Uh, you got the one crescendo because you have to play it, and then three imperms for more hand traps. Um, this is so versatile. It helps me out all the time. I, probably the best card. Uh, best non-Orcus card in the deck, in my opinion. This just is so versatile, this one, and it's kind of insane. Um, this is a really good card. If you're not playing it, you kind of have to have it right now. I feel like, at least. On to the extra deck. Got our field center. Three Galatea, standard. Uh, one Phoenix. Phoenix is kind of staple right now. Kind of gets you, you have to play it because you're at your, like, easy out to there can only be one um ip just because you know it's probably the best card the best way to go with your turn one board is to summon this um is really nice um and i guess that's why a lot of people are going away from the window ver turn one board just because you can make this and then you have a little bit more versatility but i like the window board a little bit better i mean it's just personal player preference i'm probably wrong but it's just what i prefer to do um, one barricade because it helps get the deck started. 
Um, this will probably be less important once I get the two returns. Um, this is already very unlikely that I summon this. Like, I rarely summon this, so I'm probably going to cut it out of the extra deck just because, like, it comes up every once in a while, but I feel like once I get two more returns, I won't need it anymore. Uh, one Long Boy, because Long Boy's busted. I summon Long Boy. I try to summon Long Boy turn one and have him in rotation a lot just because of the fact that it, it helps clear another card and keeps your resources back in your deck. Um, just being able to go symbol, bring back Long Boy, send a card, and then ding, send another card comes up quite a few, quite, quite a bit actually it's kind of surprising um one nightmare unicorn that that's self-explanatory uh one trisbania because there's a lot of control at my local so i play this over the other one one appalooza because ip and appalooza is really strong i've yet to do that combo since i put this in the extra deck but i'm going to leave it in there because i feel like once i go to the regionals in january it'll come up more often there than it will at my locals um one Boral Sword Dragon is a game winning machine right there. Uh, two Ding, one Restrict, one Winda. So going forward with the extra deck, I'm thinking Barricade's going to come out for probably Bomber Dragon. And then these two are going to be, I have no idea what these are going to be. If I decide to play the Striker Engine, one will be. Uh, Kigari, if I decide not to play the Striker Engine, then I don't know what else. I might play the Link 4 Topologic, the other one, the one that uh, banishes everything, but I just really don't like that card just because it banishes your Babel. Um, and I feel like Babel's really strong right now. I don't know. I'm, I need to look more into it and play test with it more, but these would come out for what I don't know yet, but probably, definitely... Bomber Dragon's going back in. Um, if I take out the Instant Fusions, this will either become a Kagari if I go that route, or they can go and it could be a number of things, honestly. The Link 4, um, I'll have to do some research and do some testing, but yeah. So that's those. That's your extra deck. Uh, side deck still hasn't changed too much. We play the three Nibiru for combo decks. Uh, Nibiru to play and player today, or on Saturday, won me the game. Um, he was the only, him and ABCs were the only combo decks I played, and these went in and were phenomenal in both of those. Um, three Lancia for the mirror match, dinosaurs, stuff like that. Um, like I said, there's not, not a lot of Orcus at my locals. There's only one other player, and he only shows up on Wednesdays. So Saturdays I don't have to really worry about. Uh, what am I trying to say? Orcus, but I'm still citing it because, like, I'm trying to prepare for the regionals. So I know I know there's a lot of rogue, but I know I have to keep this in here. And what I lost to at the regionals was Draco. Like, control decks is what I lost to at the last regional. So I need to be prepared for control decks and the meta, which I feel like this kind of, like, shuts down the meta. And then this shuts down any of the, kind of the combo variants. Um... Played the third Twin Twister, just because you kind of have to have it. Um, nothing really to say about that. Uh, three Mind Control, this goes in against everything, even Control decks, just because normally they at least put up one monster. And I like to go second, games two and three, so I like to force my opponent to go first. Whether they, it's like, no matter what I'm playing against, I normally like to go second. And side these in, go second, use these as a starter card which is very nice. Um, I'm not confident in going blind second every time. So I want to go, f I want to try to go first game one and then games two and three, I'll go second. Cause normally most players are going to want to go first, especially control players. So they're going to want to go first, establish their back row and then use this to take their one monster, normally like an inspector border, a Draco card or a sky striker link. And you want to use this to take them. I feel like it's staple this format. Everybody should be playing uh, mind control and just too good. And then for traps, we play the two evenly and the three red reboot for uh, trap decks. So this handles, these five handle my uh, Draco, Altergeist, and uh, what's the other one? Guru Control. These five are what I side for those. Um, this is, so far, every time I've sided it in, has been amazing. Um, it's helped me out a lot. Um, evenly has been very good when it resolves. Um, 
I had to evenly somebody. Well, I red rebooted them one turn and then even even lead them the next against uh, the final round this weekend. And if, like if I didn't have both, I felt like I would have lost. Like his, I was able to red reboot him, but I still couldn't clear his board. I cleared the important tr spells and traps that he set, like the one that I knew was a problem and the one that he set. I was able to clear those. And then in his following turn, he just built a bigger board, and I was able to evenly end because he cleared my board. And then at the end of his battle phase, I just like even leading, which was very nice. And then on my following turn, I killed him. Um, these cards are just very, very important. Um, I'm very happy with the side. I'm very happy with the deck and how it's playing. Other than putting in the two returns and the second brass, I'm very happy with the deck. Like, not much I want to change. I just need to keep play testing and keep practicing making sure i know my combos and i know what to do when to do it and play a little bit faster because like the one striker get the one striker matchup i lost in time was because we went to time and he was going first game three it just took too i feel like i took too long playing throughout the game if i could have sped up my gameplay knowing the deck better i might have stood a better chance of being able to get a turn in that game three and if i would have gotten a turn I would have been I would have won that game in time because I had a way to clear his board and then push for some kind of damage but that's just not how it turned out unfortunately and so that's why I'm consistently playing Orcus and playing over and over and over again uh, the same deck just so I know my deck inside and out and hopefully I'll be able to get my invite at this next regionals um, tournament report Round one, I played against Pure Cyber Dragon. I uh, won the die roll, went first. Um, squeaked out game one. He was able to suck up my board that I made because I ended on the uh, just your standard Orcus board with Babel, Ding, and Galatea. I was able to squeak out game one after he sucked up my board because he couldn't kill me. Uh, game two, I lost game two because I misplayed hard. Um, and that's another reason why I'm still practicing with the deck so I can stop misplaying. But I misplayed super hard. I, he, uh, he made me go first. I set up my board. He kind of broke it, passed back to me. I started establishing my board. And the way I did my line of play was I forgot to, I got distracted talking to a friend of mine. And I forgot to normal summon Symbol Skeleton from hand before making Boral Sword to use it to make Boral Sword. So I ended up using everything else to make Boral Sword and didn't, didn't have a way to put another monster on board because I didn't normal the symbol. If I normal the symbol and used it to make Boral Sword, I could have killed him that turn. But me not being able to kill him that turn gave him a chance to get back in the game. He broke the board and then proceeded to kill me a couple of turns later. I just couldn't, wasn't able to put a, get the resources back on the field to kill him. Um, he only had 800 left, but still, that's how it happens sometimes. Um, game three, we go into game three. Um, this time I was playing, I make him go first, and then I just don't misplay this time. That's pretty much all it was. Uh, made him go first. He didn't really do anything. Um, I guess I play out my turn. I didn't really do anything because I kind of bricked-ish. Um, we just passed turn back and forth kind of counter each other because I drew kind of enough to stop what he was trying to do and then vice versa but once I was finally able to get going I was able to kill him on my third turn um round two I played against pendulums I 2 would them pretty easily um game one I went first and ended on the window board and he just couldn't out the window board um and I was able to kill him on my next turn uh, game two, he went first, and he didn't have a way to get the Jackal King before summoning five monsters, so I nibbered him, and that just kind of won me the game from there. Um, round four, no, round three, I played against uh, ABC, Danger ABC, um, which will be on the, which should have. Round three, I played against the Danger ABC deck, which you guys saw on the channel the other day. Um, that was another two, I believe it was a 2-0 situation. It was either 2-0 or 2-1. Um, I know game one was very back and forth, and then the last game that I won against it was because I was able to Nibiru him before he went into Appaloosa. He still was able to create a pretty decent board and swing in for some damage. Um, 
but not enough to kill me, and I was able to just come back on my next turn. Um, yeah, that was definitely a 2-1 game now that I think about it. Yeah, that was definitely a 2-1. Um, and then round four, round four was very weird. Um, so I don't know how, but the Konami system paired me against a player that was XO2 instead of the XO1. I don't understand how that happened, but there was a player that was XO1 that played against the ABC player I had just played, who was X1. And then I played against the XO2 player which I, I don't completely understand how that happened, um, but it's how they paired us. I figured that the X01 would have played the three one or the X1 person instead of the other way around, but Konami, it's Konami system paired it that way. So he was playing Generage, trying to get ensure that he was gonna get at least the, uh, what's it called, the mouse pad, which he did. Uh, but I was able to beat him 2-1. He beat me game one just because I didn't really understand what the deck was doing. And then I bricked super hard. Like, the only monster I saw was Phantasme. And then he just, like, never link summoned because, like, he didn't need to. So he just kind of killed me for free. Um, game two was just kind of the opposite. I was just able to blow him out pretty quickly. And then game three was very grindy. And right before time, I was able to push in for the final bit of damage. Um, that's the tournament report, guys. Like... Every week I'm playing something different and I'm learning mistakes and I'm trying to constantly learn from what I'm doing, where I'm misplaying and what have you. Um, but that's all I've got for this video, guys. I'm very glad that I won the mat. Like, I don't really care about the artwork. I've just been trying to get a mat with zones because it helps me when I'm actually playing the game if I have zones here for me. Like, I really love my Ichigo mat. If I could have that art with zones on it, that'd be awesome. But... I'm very grateful to have won a map with zones on it. Um, hopefully it'll help my gameplay in the next regional. I'm going to take this map and use, utilize the zones. Um, I didn't think it was going to be that big of a deal until I used a mat, borrowed somebody's mat at locals one weekend and had the zones and it actually helped a lot like with the thought process and lining everything up to where it's supposed to be. Um, it helped me play around like impermanence and stuff like that it helped me set up my impermanence to like counter cards like Just because that's one less thing you have to really think about because of how complicated the zones got and like I would Until I used the map with zones. I never would have really thought that that was a big deal But I'm very grateful to have the map. I'm very grateful to have won this weekend um, I want to thank everybody who supported the channel um, We're up to over 50 subscribers. That's a big honor for me guys like I never would have thought like I'd have got this far. Um, I know it's only 50 subscribers; it's not no big deal. And a lot of you guys like are people I know locally. But for the people that aren't from my locals, uh, thanks for supporting the channel. I'm gonna keep trying to grow and get better. I'm currently working on learning, uh, getting my hands on Photoshop to start making better thumbnails. Um, I've recently got this tripod to help with video recording. Um, I'm gonna try to get some more live duels coming for you guys. That way you can. Uh, Take what I'm doing right and wrong and help me learn as a player and grow as a player. Um, I'm really trying to get on this grind to make it make my way to nationals this year. I really want to make it. Um, but yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the video and enjoying the content, please leave a like, comment. Um, if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. Peace.